very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking so as part of being very honest and transparent with everyone regarding our uh, premium forex signals group on telegram i wanted to first uh, share with you the results of the past week's uh, signals so as you can see right here on the first day on monday sadly it wasn't really good day and we had to inform everyone to close accordingly their trades uh, with the current positions then we promised them of course that we are going to do our best in the upcoming days thankfully tuesday was really great day as we can see only one signal we had to close in zero pips of uh, break even and the other signals have went straight to the take profit levels um the rest of the days were ups and downs i mean two signals we closed in loss uh, another signal in loss um one signal in profit other one is loss which is really normal i mean this is how forex market is the next day uh, euro aud in profit the other signals were uh, some of them in profit and the others are in loss which is very normal as i'm telling you always my friends uh, i cannot tell you that we had a great week but however i wanted to share with you as just to be fair i mean these are the results that we are usually usually getting i mean those who are with us since almost one year or less uh, they know very well that these are the uh, normal results that we are getting usually we are ending every week in a very good and decent profit now what we're telling here that forex can never be the same every day i mean this industry here of uh, about sending the forex signals it cannot be a uh, hundred percent you cannot make hundred percent every week some weeks you will you will make hundred eighty percent some other weeks you will make seventy five percent some other weeks you will make fifty percent which is really very normal what we are doing in extreme trader is we are fighting the scamming business and we are not promising profits we are showing the reality about trading forex so of course as i'm telling you these are the results that we are usually getting every month usually we are making in profit every week actually we are ending in profit maybe there could be some weeks where we will not end it in profit but however the week after hopefully is going to be also in profit thankfully this is this is what we are doing in extreme trader and i hope it will gonna keep going the same way so of course if if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there so let's now begin with the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro ust now the very first thing we can notice right here on the euro ust that the pair right now is facing a strong previous resistance zone as we can see right here that resistance zone has obviously not been breaking out from and the pair has shown here a strong rejection right on the same level of the previous resistance zone and as we can see right here on the daily chart guys right now i'm on the daily chart daily chart has shown here already a support number one right here support number two and right now the part the market is reversing at the third attempt of the support meaning on support number three now let's dig this more dig in this more so let me just go to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame what we can notice right here is that the market on um friday night has closed as a, as this uh, pin bar on the very same uh, support zone indicates that most likely the euro usd is actually going to continue the rise now it's a matter of where we can place our trades now if i'm not mistaken since we can see that the very last candle has closed like this as uh, what we can call a, a doji or um, uh, some other people call it harami i don't i don't think it is the right term but however whatever it is uh, this candle here shows a pressure from the buyers and sellers and as we can see the market has closed and um the battle was equal between the bulls and the bears and therefore we are not really sure how the market right now is going to react to this level but in general euro ust is going to the rise however it's a matter about where we can place our trade so for the safety measures and just to be sure what happened okay so just to be sure we need to place our trade right here at the very lowest level of the support where the support number one has been created also almost support number two and right now on the uh, lowest tail of support number three these are the uh, safest levels to start buying the euro usd of, of course i don't have to mention that um on the daily chart we are right now 
on Fibonacci 61.8. So that means if on daily chart, for any reason or whatsoever, on Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, if you have seen right here a strong bearish breakout candle breaks out from 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, please close your trades immediately. As long as we are above 61.8, you can keep the trade running and hopefully we are aiming right now the previous retracement of 38.2 on 1.20640, which was the previous strong support level as we can see right here. So that being said, and on the, on the daily chart, um, we have to, to get ready to start buying the euro USD at the level 1.18793. And the take profit level should be at least the uh let's just to to be uh realistic right here i'm gonna make right here the previous support level on 1.20274 as my target so therefore we are gonna be aiming about 143 pips profit from this deal so therefore take profit is 1.20274 now for this for this uh, the safe zone of course the safe zone has to be ranging as i told you below 61.8 fibonacci retracement Therefore, I'm going to make it just right here below that support level as well. Now, keep in mind, I'm always telling you that if you have seen here a strong bearish breakout candle break, breaks out from 61.8, it's very normal sometimes that you will see the market is going below that level, but don't decide anything until you see the closure of the candle. How the candle is going to close? What is the final shape of the candle? I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is very obvious. For example, this candle right here, if you are trading live that time um, and you are seeing this candle, it was a full bar right here. You would assume, oh, okay, it's a full bar. So it's a bu full a bearish break, a bullish breakout candle. I have to start buying. But you are missing that this is not yet the final shape of the candle. This was the creation of just a pin bar. The market has shown here uh, a, str a strength or a pressure from the sellers. And the bullish breakout candle did not close as a bullish breakout candle. So the market has just reached this level and eventually the market has or the candle has closed as a pin bar indicates that this is a perfect level to start shorting the euro USD. This is one of the common mistakes actually the traders falling to. Um, when they are trading live, they are just seeing a pin bar and they say, oh, great, I have to sell. They are forgetting that the candle is still live. The candle has not yet closed as a pin bar. Wait for the candle to close before you decide if this is a pin bar or not. Anyway, what we were talking about. Yes, uh, Euro USD. So this is the safe zone of the Euro USD. Let me just delete this line here, uh, the shape, and draw for you the shape of the safe zone. And there goes your signal for the Euro USD for this week. And I really hope it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. Let's take a look right now at the pound USD. So regarding the pound USD, the pound USD is showing is still actually showing a very quite strong bullish momentum and seems like the pair is still climbing its way. Uh, let me just confirm to you uh, where is our target of the pound USD in general. As I told you many a few, a few months ago, the pound USD seems like it's going to continue the rise until it hit the strong resistance resistance level on 1.43450. If we check also the weekly chart, we can see that this is where the pair is heading to. It indicates that we had right here a previous resistance and seems like the pound USD has managed to, to retest the broken resistance. And actually on the weekly chart, this price action uh, usually indicates a continuation in the growth. That being said, let's go to the daily chart again. And as you can see, uh, my friends right here, uh, we are right here on that previous support level and right here we can see that the pound USD has shown here a strong uh, or uh, many attempts to break out from that previous support level. I'm telling you always something that this price action right here, these three candles usually indicates a continuation in the momentum. And with the weakness of the USD dollar right now, and I think the pound is rising, therefore, we can expect that we can start again buying the pound USD. And just looking at the daily chart, we can see that the pair is actually on a very good level to start buying very soon. Uh, we just have to wait for the pair um, to fall for another about 30 or 32 pips before we can start again buying it. That being said, pound USD is for the buy at 1.3831 sorry 38318 correct 
and the target if in case we started buying right here is going to be just the peak of the resistance right here uh, the reason is we need to give space for the midweek analysis and of course uh, just being realistic I mean in general the direct the, the target is right here at the resistance on 1.41813 but however just to be sure that we are giving a realistic uh, analysis we have to be sure that we are giving it on the right direction so 180 pips of profit should be fair and good enough so uh, take profit level is going to be 1.432 now, of course, the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit below the safe, uh, sorry, the support level, as we can see right here. Because if the candles can fall a little bit before below that support, I don't think it's going to exceed that support level right here on 1.37745. That's definitely going to be our safe zone. So therefore, the safe zone should be ranging for about 56 pips only, which is again, very fair enough there goes your signal for the pound usd and again i really hope it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits let's take a look at the aud usd now the aud usd now let me tell you something guys when you see on the four hour time frame or even daily chart if you see such a candle like this oh now it's reconnected if you see such a candle like this when it touches a previous support level you should be re you should realize that this is this indicates a very strong support level that means that the rejection on that support level was quite strong and the bulls are actually pushing the market to rise more so therefore if we go to the daily chart we can notice also that the AUD USD is rising we can see the momentum that the AUD USD is still bouncing on that support trend line and therefore most likely the, the AUD USD can be still good to the buy right here uh, when when the market revisits again the support level right here on 0 0.77170 i believe that the market that's that time gonna be good for the buy of course we have to keep our eyes on the price action the price action can this change everything if for example on monday morning the market has opened right here the market has opened right here as a strong bearish candle then please do not place any buy orders just be realistic about your buy orders right here um, wait to see the reaction of the candle wait to see how the candle is reacting to that level um, you can switch of course always to the smallest time frame as uh, smaller time frames such as one hour or 30 minutes time frame just see how the candle is reacting to that level where i'm gonna send you the signal to start buying the pair if you see the candle actually reversing and showed any uh, signs of reversal such as a pin bar then please you can start proceed with the buy order so therefore um AUD USD good for the buy as 0 0.77170 and if the pair has actually continued rising as we are expecting i'm expecting from it to reach at least this peak of the resistance at 0 0.78347 so this is going to be actually our take profit level 0 0.78347 and of course for this take profit level the take profit level sorry um the safe zone i mean sorry the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit below that support just exactly like this so it should be ranging for about 40 pips we can make it a little bit more exactly like this so it's going to be about 47 pips again which is really fair enough there goes your signal for the AUD USD, and I really hope also it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits. Let's look at the USD CAD. Now the USD CAD is shown as again I'm telling you the same thing we can see right here on the USD CAD. We can see here a strong bearish uh, pin bar has appeared right when the market has made an attempt to retest the broken support level on 1.25280 that indicates most likely uh, on the four hour time frame that the usd cad is going to continue the fall as we can see the usd cad is in a very strong bearish momentum and the trend is falling down so i believe if i'm not mistaken the final target for the usd cad should be right here the support on 1.3827 so in general we are looking for about 146 pips only only <laughs> from the usd cad in general i mean however just to be realistic again uh, I'm going to select this previous support level, uh, resistance level right here as my take profit level. So the take profit is going to be 1.24201, uh, which is about 107 pips of uh, profits. Now, of course, we have to wait for the pair to rise a little bit more for about 24 or 23 pips before we can start shorting it. 
this is the best level in my opinion to start shorting the USD CAD. And uh, since we are shorting the, the USD CAD right here, the safe, let me just adjust it because it's not, yes, perfect. Uh, the safe zone should be ranging just till the peak of the resistance right here, which is fair enough because it's going to be about 45 pips only. So therefore, USD CAD should be good for the short at 1.2525. And the the take profit level should be um, 1.2421. And of course, let me draw for you the safe zone, uh, the edge of the safe zone, which is like this. There goes your signal for the USD CAD. And I really hope also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. Checking the USD GPY. USD GPY right now, as we can see, has been mo moving in consolidation mode for the whole week. USD GPY really didn't move much uh, this week, and as we can see, it has been ranging at the peak of the resistance. As I told you before, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think I said that in the last week analysis video. I said that the, I'm expect, expecting from the, the USD GPY to be ranging for quite some time here because that resistance is quite strong and the market is not really able to break out from that level yet. So it's going to take some strength from the USD uh, index to be actually able to break out from that resistance. And with the current situation and the weakness of the USD dollar, I really don't see this is happening. So therefore, if I'm not mistaken, um, we have to consider that we can start shorting the USD GPY again. So let me just make it clear that we can start shorting the USD GPY right here at the peak of the resistance. Let's go to the four hour time frame. So it's going to be easier. Actually, we need to wait for the USD GPY to rise a few more pips. Just perfect. 32 pips, 32 pips. Yes, perfect. So uh, USD GPY for the short at 109.193. And of course, if we started shorting the pair right here, um, the target should be right here, just at the peak of the previous resistance where most likely the pair eventually going to fall to and might actually retest that broken level. Let me just put my phone on silent mode because now it's annoying. Just one second, please, guys. Uh, just one second. I need to pause. One second, one second. Yep, sorry about that. So as I, was, as I was telling, this is where the pair most likely is going to fall to to retest the broken resistance. So we are actually aiming about, I would say, 97 or 96 pips only from this deal. So the take profit level, uh, 108.202. Now, of course, the safe zone, I don't have to mention that it has to be just a little bit above the uh, resistance. So it's had, it has to be right here. Most likely, if the USD JPY can rise above that resistance, I think it has to reverse at least at the peak of the resistance at 109.642. Um, that's not too much pips, I think. It's only about 44 pips. Again, I really doubt this is this is going to happen. Um, because of the weakness of the USD dollar right now, I think the pair is immediately going to fall uh, to the tech profit level. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't even think that the USD GPY can reach the sell level. I believe it's going to continue the fall immediately on Monday or, uh, morning at the opening of the market and go all the way directly straight to the tech profit level. So therefore, there goes your signal for the USD GPY. Uh, and I really hope it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. USDCHF. It's very easy to tell that the USDCHF is going to be bearish this week. Uh, the market on Monday evening, uh, sorry, on Friday evening has closed as a strong uh, pin bar, bearish pin, uh, pin bar, and as we can see, the market has immediately started the fall. Actually, I really doubt that the USDCHF is even going to rise, at it, even, it's not even going to rise to that resistance again. Most likely, this is where we can start again shorting the USDCHF at the peak of the resistance. So we just have to wait for the pair to rise for another um, 13 or 14 pips only before we can start shorting it again. So therefore, uh, USDCHF is good for the short as 0 0.93039. And of course, the take profit level has to be right here at the previous peak of the resistance, as we can see, my friends, because if the pair has uh, fallen, it's going to continue fall all the way to retest the broken resistance on 0 
so we are aiming about um, 110 pips profit from this trade so take profit level gonna be 0 0.911919 sorry double four now regarding the safe zone this the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for a long time i mean it's just above the resistance level exactly right here so it has to be ranging for only 37 pips and i think there is absolutely uh no need to make that more than more than that i mean 40 pips should be fine i think yes 40 pips should be, should be fine just give the candle some time to breathe i mean if the candle uh might rise here a little bit more just to create a pin bar then if eventually it has to fall so we have to give the candle some space for the attempt to break out from the resistance so therefore um there goes your signal for the usd chf and i hope false also it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits now let's check the gold which i'm sure everyone is waiting for now the gold if i'm not if i'm not mistaken let me just make it short the gold this week is going to for the to the rise most likely we are gonna ex be expecting from the gold to retest the broken support level at 1767 and if i'm not mistaken the gold is moving right now in a very strong uh, bullish uh, trend or a bullish momentum and therefore we can expect from the gold to continue the rise um i'm not expecting from the gold to fall at the moment uh since we can see that the pair has actually uh, managed to break out from fibonacci 61.8 look at that right now we are above 61.8 the pair has made several attempts and is as we can see right here here on the four hour time frame we had what seemed like a breakout from 61.8 that was a fake breakout now after seeing this fake breakout we can see that the pair is uh, under the pressure from the buyers to go up and as we can see right after the the fake breakout the pair has reversed again exactly on 61.8 so that being said used uh, sorry uh, the gold if we look at the market right here on the daily on the four hour time frame we can see that right here we are having here a previous uh, resistance level and the market seems like it has managed to make a, break, a bullish breakout from that previous resistance that that means most likely the you the gold is actually going to continue falling again right here just to retest the broken resistance and after that the gold is going to continue the rise don't forget also that we're having here a support a trend line like that and most likely the gold is going to actually make another attempt to bounce on that support trend line that's why i believe this is going to be actually the best level to start again buying the gold that being said we are actually aiming about 307 pips profit from buying the gold on this level so uh gold for the buy at 1736.50 and this is the edge of the safe zone my friends just a little bit below not below actually actually it is exactly on the support level right here but however if um, as we can see it is below 61.8 as i'm telling you we can expect from the pair to fall uh, just to bounce again on 61.8 before uh, continue the rise so therefore uh, the safe zone should be actually ranging for about 130 pips only and i hope it's gonna be very good signal so therefore uh, the take profit level uh, 1767.22 so there goes your signals for this week and i believe it's going to be a very good and profitable week for everyone uh, the market seems calm and i believe uh, it's, uh, the market is very easy to read and even for our premium signals group i believe the uh, the upcoming week is going to be much much easier for us and hopefully we are going to make really a lot of profits using our signals so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching